Good morning, Gabersburg. This is Tyler Scholl. Today is Thursday, May 25th. Welcome to Trojan News. A few weeks ago, the Media Center hosted Tahimba Jess, a poet, to speak to the students. Ethan was there to cover the story. Drinking in my kiss, a fat board across fingertip till he can stand up. On April 27th, Award-winning poet Tahimba Jess gave a presentation at Gaithersburg High School. Here's what members of the audience thought of the event. I thought it was a really interesting presentation, mainly because he's really well-spoken and he has a lot of ideas and morals that he portrays perfectly in his writing. And the way that his writing is influenced is also very big and major, especially nowadays. I thought his poem about domestic violence within men was very striking and the essay that he wrote about his poem really touched me. I asked a question about that. And when he spoke about forgiveness, that really like hit me really hard. And I thought that was very like, powerful. I really love the diversity of his work um, and just the span of his poetry. Since the word love first blessed his lips, since hurt and flight and free carved their way into the cotton-fused bones of his fretting hand. I'm very happy that he came to our school. I really like having these like poetry and like things happening in the media center. His writing, like I said earlier, really is very influential and if you can, please check out his books because they can really inspire you. It's been a good year for Gaithersburg Athletics. I spoke to some of the players about their thoughts on the season. I've really enjoyed the girls lacrosse season this year. It's been such a positive team. It's been it's it transformed more into a team, into more of a family, which has been absolutely great because the communication is better. Everything is just better. Everyone is new, so we are teaching people how to play, learn the basics, which is, you know, it sets us up a tiny bit, but everyone picked it up super quickly and are just working on their skills. I really recommend joining next year or in the future years because our coach now is amazing and I love her so much, so positive, and I just hope that lacrosse season can continue. Football, the football season was great. We had a lot of ups and downs, but we always came back up. We finally got a playoff win. I don't know when the last time we got it. It was a long time ago. But it was fun, and I had a lot of playing, I had a lot of fun playing with my teammates. And it was just a great season overall. Would you encourage people to like join next year, play next year? Yeah, I encourage, I encourage everybody to join next year. If you, Congratulations to our seniors who are about to move on to the next step in their lives. Jessica spoke to some of them to hear what they had to say about high school. It's the end of the year for seniors and I was able to talk to some of them about how they're feeling about it. I'm excited because, you know, it's like a new start and we get to move on, but sad because I'm leaving everyone. I am very happy to be done. It feels very like refreshing, but also bittersweet. And some advice is to join extracurricular. What really matters is like what you learn and less about the outcomes. Summarize your time here at GHS in one word. Fulfilled. It was exhausting. I'm glad that I got through it. I learned a lot. Extraordinary. Just enjoy being in high school. It might suck sometimes, but you know, that's kind of what life is. Faith is right. Thank you for just like giving me another home. You introduced me to another community, you know, again, since I transferred here. And I'm just I'm very proud to be a Trojan. Finally, Tatiana is here with a behind the scenes look at the video program as we say bye to our seniors, too. Obviously, I'm gonna miss my friends <laughs> because it's super fun. But like about the class, like filming it, I don't really love the interviewing part, but I love the editing and the filming it because it's just it's kind of peaceful for me. Being able to like, I would have to figure out how to get like what stories to do, and it kind of made me research more about what's going on at the school to learn more about the school while trying to teach other people about stuff at the school. I think I'm gonna miss like actually making stuff that I wouldn't wouldn't be able to express in other classes. Great way to express yourself and like your ideas and be more creative. It's I think it's really refreshing and nice to do. Some advantages are like 
I feel like doing work efficiently or like being able to work in a t like a, a time frame of such. I think just fueling your creativity sometimes. Sometimes you're a little stumped and you don't know what to do, but I think that's the only disadvantage. Looking forward to uh, actually shooting stuff for like a video type of yearbook kind of thing. It's gonna be cool. Just covering the sports next year as well. I'm excited for that. I'm probably gonna miss actually like recording back in the studio because it's, it's I actually like it back there. It's pretty cool. I like being the anchor. I like doing the chatcast. I like doing a lot back there. So I'm probably gonna miss actually recording in the studio. What advantages would probably be like, you learn how to film and do stuff and you get like a pass so you can go anywhere in the school recording. So you get to meet a lot of people, do a lot of things. It's really cool. There's not really many disadvantages other than it's only 45 minutes. So you're kind of on a time crunch all the time. I like doing a story on the wrestling team and the football team because it was easy to get like B-roll for, but also the interviews were actually a lot of fun to shoot. A lot of them were people I know, so it was easy and fun to shoot. One last thing. Last time we told you that Ethan was a finalist in the Keeping It Safe video contest. Last week, he learned he won first place. Congratulations to Ethan. Here's his video. When he first picked up the bottle, it was to cover up his pain. Little did he know it would cause the turmoil he feels to deepen. This concoction leads him to isolate, to hide, to suffer. He feels like he can't escape its control, but little did he know, that was also a lie. The only way to get on the path to recovery is to admit his condition. I'm Carlos, and I'm an alcoholic. And that's it for today, Gatorsburg. We will see you next year.